What's going on guys? So I am still out here at Terrytown RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I want to take a look at this really cool and interesting toy hauler. So hang tight, you're not going to want to miss this one. So this is the Rockwood GeoPro G16TH, which stands for Toy Hauler. This thing is relatively short, maybe a total of about 21, 22 feet long, but it has a really cool feature. And the fact that it's a toy hauler really makes this one stand out because there aren't a lot of super compact toy haulers like this. Let's take a closer look at this unit. I can tell that it has a refrigerator freezer just from looking at the back here. This unit also uses Asdell composite sidewalls. Taking a look inside, you can see what makes this so special. It is a compact toy hauler. It gives you the ability to lay all of this flat and use it as a huge bed or individual bunks essentially, plus long table in the center. But once you fold these up, you have the ability to take a toy with you. You can put something in here that you can use out on the beach or wherever you plan on going. So that is really cool and it is very unique because you don't see a lot of super compact toy haulers like this. As with all of these Rockwoods, they're gonna come with a tremendous amount of cabinetry and storage. I I love the lighter tones. I love the fact that you can open this entire back gate up, put this screen up, and you have a really, really nice patio essentially built into your travel trailer. This has to be one of the coolest floor plans I've seen. Plus, front kitchen, tons of storage, and it has a full wet bath. So as you can see, it is a wet bath stall. Basically, sit on the toilet and take a shower. Right outside here, you have your stainless steel basin sink, three burner cooktop, more storage, and it's very deep storage as well, plus drawers and even more storage. Has a single air conditioning system, but for a trailer this size, that's probably perfectly fine. I love that all these Rockwoods have this friction hinge door prevents it from just opening. Plus, most of them have this keyless entry system. I think the only one that doesn't is this super tiny one back here. However, all of the other ones come with this really nice keyless entry system. Has the really nice step above step. This is also gonna be equipped with the Torflex suspension from Dexter. So it's basically an independent suspension system. This is your rear vent from your back area in case you have any toys back there that might be smelly. This is the way you kind of ventilate it out. You can see your front vent right there. It allows kind of this cross ventilation. Wired for a Furion backup camera, LED lighting, scissor jacks on all four corners. Plus it has this really nice ladder system that can be removed to help you climb up on top. It already has the solar panels up top, plus it has a roof rack. Just like all of these Rockwoods, you have the ability to put things like kayaks or snow skis, things like that on top, or even fishing rods, as long as you secure them down well. All of the larger Rockwoods are gonna have that rack on top, which is really nice, as well as a solar panel built on top, Wi-Fi extender, and a lot of really great construction cues. Again, these things are built very well. They're actually one of the better quality compact travel trailers on the market. Now, taking a look at the numbers on this G16TH, this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 4,530 pounds and a cargo capacity of 1,536 pounds. This, in my opinion, is easily half-ton towable. This is definitely the type of trailer that you could tow behind most modern half-ton trucks without any problem at all. And again, you could even tow this behind some of your larger, even mid-size SUVs, as long as you're careful. But you could easily pull this behind like an Expedition or a Tahoe or you know a Nissan Armada, and you shouldn't have any issue at all. Just be sure you use the right weight distribution setup. On this side of the unit, you'll see that you have all your city water connections, your tank fill, outside shower, and the back side of your hot water heater. And frameless windows are standard on all of these Rockwoods. And then finally, we'll take a look at this G19FD Rockwood. This one's really cool because it's a little bit different. So this one is a front bed, but it's a Murphy bed. This one folds down so you can fold this whole assembly back up. When it's folded down, it is a queen size bed. It has a really nice little kitchen area with a little flip up extra storage countertop. Nice dinette area, which also turns into a bed. Refrigerator and microwave here. There's your TV above the dinette. It is already wired with GoPower Solar, just like all of these. Has a nice 
full-size bathroom with a sink. So that's one thing that's a little different with this one that some of the other ones didn't have. They had wet baths. This one actually has a sink and there's no slide. So they fit all of this in here without needing to put it in on a slide. And that's really nice. Just like with all of the other Rockwoods, nice light tones, lots of cabinetry, lots of storage. This is just a very nice unit. This is definitely the type of camper that I think a lot of couples would love simply because it provides you all the amenities that you need. It provides you the queen size bed, the nice kitchen, the shower, everything you really need. Plus, if you have a small child, you could easily take him or her with you as well. Up on the front, again, you're gonna get your double propane tanks, double battery box, power tongue jack. And the numbers on this specific Rockwood, 3,890 pound gross vehicle weight rating, 790 pound cargo capacity. This is easily half ton towable. Now measurement that I wanna take is the width. And all of these are pretty much gonna be the same unless they have a small slide like this. But from the interior of this specific Rockwood, let's take a look at the measurements. So this specific trailer is gonna be six foot, 10 inches wide. So it's a little narrower than many of the larger, wider travel trailers. Makes it a little bit more compact and easier to see around if you're going to be towing it with a smaller vehicle. So yeah, guys, when you're looking at the Rockwood Geo Pro line, you really get a lot of bang for the buck. You get a lot of features that even larger, more expensive travel trailers don't have. But what's nice about them is if you look at starting here and moving on, you're going to have solar on every one of these. You're going to have a roof rack on every one of these. They already have the fantastic vent cover as well. Plus, you're going to have the off-road tires, Torflex suspension on all of these. You're going to have Asdell sidewalls, frameless windows, a really nice, light, airy-toned interior, plus a lot of amenities that you might be looking for that you just typically didn't think you could get in something this compact. What's also nice is all of these are easily half-ton towable. When I talk to you about trailers that you can haul behind a half-ton truck, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You can get just about any floor plan you want in terms of a compact trailer. You can have room for kids if you need a bunkhouse. You can have room for adults if you need a larger space just for a couple, or even if you need a small toy hauler. You have that ability in a package that's gonna be safer behind a half-ton truck or a large SUV. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to give a huge shout out to the folks over here at Terrytown RV Center in Grand Rapids, Michigan, where they've given me essentially unlimited access to their facility to video pretty much all of their units that I'd like. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.